What's up everybody, Mike from Dead Bricking here. Today, I wanna to do a quick video about some Minecraft sets for Lego investing. Yes, you heard that right. I know some of you are probably thinking, why the heck Minecraft? Why would I waste my money on that set? You may or may not be thinking that. I know people have thought that before, but the numbers do not lie. I'm gonna show you some sets that I am buying currently, as well as some numbers to sets that have retired from 2018. So we can get an idea of what kind of return on investment we might get right now with the sets that are potentially retiring by the end of this year. Let's take a look. I have six sets here that I wanna discuss with you that I'm currently buying. Some I have more of than others. The first set is the Wolf Farm set 21153. It retails for $20, but you should be able to find it on Walmart, Amazon for $16 possibly even target at times. But I think that this one will be a good set based off of some of the numbers we'll look at here in a little bit. The second set is the In Battle set 21151. Again, this one retails for $20. You should be able to get it for $16. I think this one will do well personally. I, you know, I'm learning about the Minecraft sets. I know that they are winners overall. And this one has a dragon in it. Why would it not do well? But hey, let me know your comments on that one. The next set is the Blaze Bridge set 21154. This one retails for $30, but you should be able to get it for $24. I was able to grab a couple of these on clearance at Walmart lately for like $12 a piece, which is really cool, but I'm not gonna count on that. Obviously, the month of July has come and gone for most of the Walmart clearance. You might be able to still find some stuff. I would keep on looking. You can always use brickseat.com to see about potential clearance items as far as Walmart, Target, things like that. Not just Lego, but anything in general, good website. The third set is set 21152, The Pirate Ship Adventures. I personally like this one um, because it's a pirate ship and it's got a parrot and pirates and why, why wouldn't it do well? I hope it does. I think it's cool. If there's any of these that I would personally keep for myself, I'll probably keep one of these just to say I own a Minecraft set. Will I ever build it? I don't know. Who cares? But this one sells for $40. You should be able to get it for $32 anywhere right now. Amazon, Walmart, possibly even Target. This next set is the Illager Raid set 21160. And this one's pretty unique. It sells for $60, but... You probably can find it for $48, 20% off right now. I found a few of them on clearance for like $15 lately, um, even a couple for $30. But regular, you should be able to get it for $48. It does have one unique character. That is Kai. I know that Kai is also a Ninjago character, and they made a Minecraft version of him. So I think that that may play into the Ninjago fans wanting to collect this particular set because of that minifigure. Overall, it seems like it's a pretty cool little set for $60 that you should be able to get it for $48. The last one, you should have known it was coming, is the Creeper Mine set 21155. This is the one that I have the most of. I've gone, I don't want to say deep on it. That's a, that's a matter of opinion. I think I have like 16 of them. Some people probably have 100 or 200. Hey, do what you need to do. But this set regular retail is $80. I got quite a few of them from Walmart for about $63. Some of them direct from Lego, around 10 or 20% off a few weeks back when they were trying to uh, get rid of some on the shelf. So I also got my Lego points on that. But everything that I've learned about Minecraft, I hear a lot of, sometimes a lot of these bigger sets tend to do really well. So I went deepest on this particular one at the moment, but I do plan on buying more of the smaller sets. But this is the one that was slated to retire at the end of July. You can still buy it for a regular retail of $80, but it's getting hard to find at this point. So just to let you know, the Creeper Mine, I only see it available for regular retail of $80 on Amazon. It's already higher priced on Walmart. It's not available on Target or Lego.com. Now, these four sets that I just pulled kind of randomly are 2018 sets that have already retired. Let's take a look at them. Set 21140, the chicken coop. You know, it was a $20 set. It's selling currently for $44 on Amazon, which is 120% return on investment. If you were to able to buy it 
for 20% off, say $16, you're looking at about 175% return on investment, which is pretty good, uh, being that it's probably been retired, you know, a year at this point. The next one, 21143, the Nether Portal, $40 retail. It's selling, which I thought was really cool, for $115 on Amazon. That's 187% return on investment. And if you were able to get it for 20% off around $32, you're looking at a return on investment of 259%. 21141, the Zombie Cave, another $20 set. It's selling for $45, 125% return on investment. And if you were able to get it for 20% off, you're getting about 181% return on investment as of today. And the last one, I picked a bigger set, 21147, the Bedrock Adventures. Now, it was regular, $90, $90 retail it's selling for about $172 right now on Amazon. So that's only about a 91% return on investment, which isn't great. Um, hopefully it climbs more. If you were able to get it for around $72 at 20% off, you're looking at about 139%, which is better. I hope that you found this video valuable and that you see that there is a lot of potential in the Lego Minecraft theme as far as getting a good return on investment when it comes to investing in Lego. A lot of these do really well overall. I'm hoping and believe that these sets that I discussed are gonna do well after retirement. What kind of return on investment? I would say easily 100. Obviously we all want more than that. I think a lot of them will reach 200%, but it may take a year or two after the retirement. Most of these are slated to end. Uh, I retire by the end of the year. You can look on Brick Fanatics and see some of them. Pickle Bricks, Brick Economy. I like Brick Fanatics. Checking data online as far as retired sets is about the best way we can judge what's going to happen in the future. But I feel confident about these sets. I'm buying them up and I plan on buying them throughout the year and maybe into next year if they're still available. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that these are going to be winners? Do you disagree with any of these picks that I have chosen today? One that I don't have physically that I wanted to mention was the Pillager Outpost is another one that I probably would buy some of as well, as I know it should be retiring by the end of 2021. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you like this kind of content about Lego investing, I know the Minecraft may be a little different for some people, but if you take the time to look at the data, the numbers do not lie. Mike with Debricking, I'm out.